This was Brian Dable and Joe Shane's worst nightmare, worse than the situation that John Mara talked about in Hard Knocks uh, when he said he was going to lose sleep at night. This wasn't just about Saquon Barkley running rampant on the Giants' defense at MetLife Stadium. This was about the fact that the reason that Barkley was no longer with the Giants was because Joe Shane believed letting him go was going to give him the financial resources to round out the offensive side of the ball, give them more offensive production, and instead this Giants team has regressed on that side of the ball. Daniel Jones was terrible. You had the offensive line, which had shown improvements this year, allowing eight sacks to an Eagle defense that had 11 coming in. And I don't want to hear about Andrew Thomas being absent because the player that filled in for him, Josh Zudu, was a Joe Shane draft pick, and he was playing because a first-round pick that Joe Shane drafted, Evan Neal, is too incompetent to play, so they can't put him out there. Malik Neighbors did not make a difference. This Giants offensive side of the ball, we are no longer in the early portions of this season. We are seven weeks into 2024. They have 10 offensive touchdowns, third fewest in the entire NFL. They are averaging 14.14 points per game. Not only is that second worst in the NFL, it is less than their offensive production from a year ago where they were so anemic. 15.6 points per game the Giants averaged last year, again, down to 14.14. This is a demoralizing loss. This is an embarrassing loss. And this is a production on the offensive side of the ball that brings into question everything the Giants are trying to accomplish. There's a reason why fans feel down. And I can promise you that feeling resonates throughout this locker room, specifically with ownership up top and John Mara.